Yo, what's going on? I'm John L. Young from Wu Tang and American Saga. Yo, play that beat again, son. This is where you should be putting your work into. Not the streets. I grew up on the crime side. This work we do. The New York Times side. It's all for family. And we just trying to make music, yo. You listening to beats? You ain't listening to the whispers out in the streets. Music. Dollar, dollar. It must be nice to have dreams. But they ain't real. Yo, it was a good process. It was a long journey, but it was worth it. So I seen the ad in the Instagram post saying that they were looking for some members to play the Wu-Tang Clan in a biopic. Me being from Staten Island, I jumped right on top of it. Sent the letter out, sent the video out saying, I'm from Staten Island, I would love to be a part of this. They mean the world to me. This is what I grew up on. Let me get a shot. Got that shot. A few months later, wound up getting signed by Risen personally, so it was amazing. Great process. Just finished filming a show called Tales. Uh, did pretty good on there. Herb Gotti shouted me out. 50 Cent been shouting my acting skills out, so I'm like, okay, maybe, maybe I do got a shot to do this for real, for real, on the big stage. So I seen the post and I just followed up and then just got the confidence made up in my mind. This is what I really want to do, not only for me, but for my city and my borough. And I just went in and just let God do his thing. Now, how did 50 of them shout, shout you out? How did, that, how did that process happen? Okay, so I was in um, in an uh, audition process for this show coming out on Stars called The BMF that 50 Cent's doing. So I did an audition tape, and as soon as I posted it, it just went viral as like the best audition tape that the world has seen in a long time. So 50 Cent got caught wind of it. He posted it on his page, and then Irv Gotti posted me on his page for Ball Alert and me um, doing the tail show. And then social media buzz just started buzzing like that, and people were just loving it. The New York Times side. It's all for family. And we just trying to make music, yo. You listening to beats? You ain't listening to the whispers out in the streets. Music. Dollar, dollar. It must be nice to have dreams, dollar, but dollar, they ain't real. This house dollar, is dollar. real. That food on your plate, the money dollar, is dollar, real. Dollar, yo. We ain't the only way, boy. The Wu Tang process is great. We uh, got some long days, some long nights on set, but we were a family. We were like a brotherhood, so we held each other accountable and responsible for being able to come to work and perform. But me and Jizzle was great. His spirit, his aura, the jewels, and the knowledge that he was building with me and giving me was something that I could take on and use in life. How was that process when you went to the studio? You walked into the studio and you're as Jizzle, but you're in, you know, it's like the pressure you spit those bars. It was a lot of pressure because I feel like Jizzle was the most lyrical one and he had his own little pitch and ways about his, his way he spit his uh, bars. So I had to be really, really in tune, had to listen to him numerous times, um, thanks to the help of the music director, Sean C. Uh, helping me get my pitch, get my voice right, being able to spit it in my flow, my mannerisms. It was great, it was fun, it was fun. Me and Jizzit, we, we text occasionally here and there, but every time we text, it's always love, it's always respect, you know, it's always a mutual thing. So even when everybody on set, Shamik Moore, Ashton Sanders, Dave East, TJ Adams, Zoli, Erica, Alexander, we're all a family and it's, it's fun. I like catchy stuff. I like stuff with high pitch frequencies. I like, I call it 43, 432HZ. I like music that's catchy. I like music that's uplifting. And I like when people hear the music, they, they automatically start bobbing and they can feel the vibe. So um, right now I'm listening to Thugger, a lot of young Thug. Uh, listen to Gunna, Dave East. Um, Dave East, Nipsey Hussle, those, like, those are guys the reason why I'm really here today. They helped me get through a lot of hard times listening to their inspirational music. I'm um, along with the Wu Tang Clan, so um, that's what I'm bumping right now. Yeah, that's what I'm really, that's what I'm really knocking to. Y'all can follow me on John L X Young on everything. J O H N E L L X Young. What's going on? My name is John L Young. You've just been buzzed.